none of your faces or your names will be recorded. And then at the end, I will stop the recording. And if you have any questions or you just wanna to talk to me, I'd love to talk to you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the waiver. In order to make these classes as freely accessible to our participants, we will be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury and by participating, if you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation, we strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you've moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you're participating in a class or class, then while lying on the ground, we recommend using a mat or if you don't have an encarpeted area, participants are encouraged to stop. If they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice and care as needed, William Mary Health and Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical examination and follow the health care advice of your provider before participating. Okay, so today we're going to get started seated on our mat, just sitting in a comfortable seat. That can be a cross leg position, sitting up nice and tall. Rolling your shoulders back, having that long spine. Just starting to close your eyes here. Relaxing your hands on your knees. Start to notice your breath. And then let's try to even out our breath. So we're going to exhale everything out, and then inhale for four counts, exhale for four counts, and we're going to do that three times. So first, exhale everything out, starting on empty, and then inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, Exhale, four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, you can keep going with that or come back to your natural breathing, whichever feels better to you. Imagining all your stress and tensions releasing out of your body into your mat. You can keep your eyes closed or you can start to open them. We're going to inhale our arms up and exhale through heart center and down. Good. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time. Inhale. Tipping over towards one side. Doesn't matter which side. You can put that elbow down on the ground or you can keep that arm extended. We're just going to stretch out our side body here. And inhale up to center. Exhale over towards the other side. Good. Trying to keep both hips on the mat. Rolling your shoulders open. Inhale up. Exhale over. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Coming up to center and then starting to fold forward over your legs. You can rock back and forth, loosening up your hip joints here. Walking your hands back up to center, taking a little twist, bringing that left arm across your right thigh. And coming back to center, bringing that right arm across your body, twisting towards the left. Okay, coming back up to center, take some shoulder rolls towards the front of the room. And then towards the back. And then take some wrist circles. And then go the other way. Making a little fist, extend your fingers and then come back to that fist. Strengthening your tendons in your forearm to prevent injuries. Then bring your thumb inside of your fist and keep going with that same thing. Shaking out your wrists here and then releasing your hands back down to your knees. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Then coming back up to center and then bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale up to center, and exhale over towards the right, the left. Good, coming 
back up to center, coming into tabletop with your knees right underneath your hips and your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. You're pulling that core up and in. When you look through your thighs, you should be able to see your feet. They're right behind your knees. Then tuck your toes under and press back into downward facing dog. Then we're going to come back to almost that tabletop, but your knees are hovering off the ground. So you're using your core to lift yourself up, but you're still in that tabletop alignment. And then press back to downward facing dog. Good. Coming back to that covered tabletop and back to downward facing dog. Keep going like that at your own pace. Starting to warm up the backs of our legs and our core. Making sure your core is super engaged here. Pausing in downward facing dog, and then we're going to start coming forward to plank, and then back to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keep going like that. Still working on warming up the backs of our legs, but now we're starting to move our shoulders and our back as well. Let's take one more pause and down facing dog. Looking forward towards your hands, start to walk your hands up to a forward fold. Just hanging out here, bending your knees, you can grab opposite elbows and rock side to side. And nod your head yes and no to release any tension from your spine and your neck. Releasing that back here. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one vertebrae right at a time, coming up to standing. Then inhale your arms up and exhale to heart center. Just pausing here, closing your eyes again. Noticing the difference in your body between now and when we started class just a few minutes ago. And thank yourself for making this difference. Taking one more inhale here. One more exhale. Slowly start to open your eyes and inhale your arms up and exhale into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, stepping back to plank, holding here. Really pulling your core up and in, making sure you're in one straight line. We're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring your knees down to the ground. And then lower your entire body in one line down to the ground. Inhale, baby cobra, using your back muscles to lift you up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, a little higher to cobra. And exhale, lower. You can do that cobra again or coming up to upper facing dog this time. If you want to do upper facing dog, making sure that your thighs are off the mat. You're just pressing your hands and the tops of your feet into the mat. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. You can pedal out your feet here, moving however feels good to you. You can move your hips from side to side. And then coming up onto your tippy toes on your next inhale. Exhale, lower your heels down. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale and exhale. Then coming back forward to that plank. We're going to bring our knees down and then we're going to lower our entire body down to the ground and coming up to space. So bringing our elbows right underneath our shoulders, really pulling through our chest, through your arms. Getting a nice stretch in our lower back. Just making sure our back is warmed up. You can also bring your hands out to the sides and then press your, extend your arms, pressing yourself up. Good, lowering your elbows back down, bringing your hands to the sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we're just going to join our knees down to the mat and sit back on our heels. We're going to do a few arm exercises here. 
So making sure your core is really tight, your shoulders are rolled back. You're gonna bring your arms out to the sides and just do some arm circles to the front of the room. Making sure that your arms stay super strong, you're not letting them just flop around. And then switch directions, go towards the back. This will help tone your entire arms and your shoulders. Good, and then we're going to stop that coming into C shapes. So you're just going to draw C's in the air with your hands. And then you're really rotate your wrist so that like your pinkies come under when you get to the bottom. That helps engage your triceps a little more. Since all of these exercises are done without weights, the mind-muscle connection is even more important than usual. So really focus on what muscle is working and just imagine it getting stronger. Making sure those shoulders stay nice and back. This helps protect your neck. And keep going for four, three, two, and one. Good, bring your arms out to the sides, like at diagonal lines out from your shoulders. Then you're gonna cross your arms over, and then bring them out and then cross them over the other way. And go kind of fast here. I don't know what these are officially called in the little Pilates video. They're called crossovers, but I feel like there must be a more professional name than that. Keep going here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring your arms to a W shape, and then you're just gonna squeeze your shoulder blades and your elbows together, and then release. Good, squeezing together, and release. This helps strengthen your back. You can move with your breath if that helps you engage your muscles more, but you don't have to. Let's keep going for four, three, two, and one. Good, just extend an arm out in front of you, pulling your fingers towards you, stretching out your forearm. And then switch sides. And then bringing your right arm across, stretching out, that shoulder here, making sure your right arm is straight and that your left arm is not pressing on your elbow. Stretching out your tricep next, bring that up and over. And then switching sides, your left arm comes across your body nice and straight, that shoulder is down. And then stretching out your tricep next. Good, releasing that and just come back or into tabletop. We're going to extend our right arm and our left leg. Good, tap your fingers and toes down, and then inhale up. Just doing a couple bird dogs here to get warm up. Take five, four, three, two, and one. Good, releasing that hand lean down. Let's switch to the other side. So extend your left arm and your right leg. Tap your fingers and toes down. And then inhale up. Exhale lower. Good. Making sure that core is pulled up and in. Looking towards the front edge of your mat. Keep going for four, three, two, and one. Releasing that hand and knee down. Coming into some cat cows. So, first, broaden your collarbone. Really arch your back here and look up towards the sky for cow. And then exhale to cat, looking towards your thigh, really rounding your spine, pressing it up towards the ceiling. Good, inhale, cow. 
Exhale, cat. Three more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale forward to cow. Exhale, rounding everything back. Taking one more. Good. Coming back to that neutral spine. Tuck your toes under and press back to downward facing dog. Inhaling that right leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee and open up your hip. Feeling that stretch between your hip flexor. Then exhale, knee to nose, cheek to pose, squeezing that knee in. Then inhale, extend your leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale to your left elbow. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it through in between your hands. Bring that back knee down to the ground. Coming into a low lunge here. So that front knee is over your front ankle. Stretching out your hip flexor in your left leg. You can stay here or you can bring your hands up to your thigh for a little bit of a deeper stretch. And then leaving that right arm on your right leg, extend your left arm over your head, stretching out your side body. Bringing both hands down to the ground and then pressing back to half split. Straightening that front leg and flexing your foot. Make sure you keep breathing here, letting your body relax into the stretch. Trying to square your hips to the front of the room. Then coming back forward to that low lunge, tuck your back toe under, and we're going to go straight back to three-legged dog. So your right leg is going to come up. Good. And then lower it down to the ground. Inhale your left leg up, and bend your knee and open up your hip. Doing that same thing on the second side. Exhale, knee to nose, chi to pose. Good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale to your right elbow. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, stepping it through in between your hands, coming to low lunge. Trying to flatten your back here, making sure that you're not rounding over that leg. First, just pausing here. And then if you would like to, you can bring your hands up to your thigh. And then leaving that left arm on your left thigh, extend your right arm up and over. This is one of my favorite stretches. I feel like it really helps intensify the stretch and also Stretch my side body at the same time. Taking one more breath in here. Exhale, lower your hands down and pressing back to half splits. Really flexing that front foot. You can kind of move around a little bit and you feel where the stretch feels the best to you and pause there. Coming back forward to that low lunge, tuck your back toes under, lift up your back knee, and press straight back to the three-legged dog. Good, lowering that foot down. We're going to come down to the mat, and then we're going to lie down on our side. First, we're going to work our side booty muscles, and then we're going to work our inner thighs. So start with your knees a little bit bent, and this arm your right arm can be in front of you. And then you can either support your head or you can just lie down and completely relax your upper body. We're gonna start just opening our knee up and then lowering it down, doing some clamshells here. If you wanna make this a little harder, you can bring your feet off the mat. Making sure that you're really engaging your core. 
that helps stabilize the entire body. Keep lifting here for five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower your knees down to the ground, but keep them in the same position. And then we're gonna lift our top leg up, keeping it parallel to your bottom leg. And then you're just gonna like kick your foot up a little bit and then bring it back to parallel and then bring it back down. Good, so lift it up completely straight and then flick your foot up, bring it back down and then completely lower that leg. That little extra kick at the top helps to engage more of that side hip muscle that we're trying to target here. Moving nice and slowly with your own breath. It should be slow and controlled movements, not using momentum. I hope you guys can start feeling that burn in the side of your butt. I know I can. Let's take one more of those. And then extend that leg out. And then you're going to bring it like in front of your body, so straight out from your hip. You're going to lift it up and then bring it all the way to your foot. And then a rainbow all the way to the front of you. So as big of a rainbow as you can make, coming from your foot to wherever it feels comfortable in front of your body, even if it's just an inch in front of your foot. As long as you're moving it a little bit, you're starting to engage that side of your hip. Trying to make like a half moon shape. The higher you lift your leg, the more you're going to feel it. You can always change how you have your arm. You can lie down on your arm. Let's just take one more of these. Okay, coming back to center, just releasing here for a second. We're going to do one more exercise on that leg. So extend your leg out from your hip, and then you're just going to bend it and extend. Leaving like your thigh exactly where it is, you're just hinging from your knee. If that goes too hard, you can go straight over your leg. Just bending and extending, or you can go somewhere in the middle. The end goal, trying to get your leg straight out from your hip. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, releasing that leg. Setting everything release there. Then we can sit up. Hug whichever leg you have on top, that was my right leg, into your chest. That left leg can be extended or it can be bent into your body. You're just stretching out that muscle that we just worked. You can kind of rock around here, feeling where the stretch feels the best to you. And then keep hugging that leg, twisting over towards the right. Okay, coming back to center, we're going to move down to the other side. So this time, my left leg is on the top, but if you are reversing me, make sure that you're doing the right leg this time. So bend your knees, really engage your core, give this side just as much attention as you give the other side. I mean, you can do some clamshells here, just lifting that knee and lowering it down. If you want a more challenging variation, you can lift your feet up and do the same thing. You guys are doing great here. Remembering that mind muscle connection, focus on what muscles are working.
Last three, two, and one. Good, lower your legs all the way down to the ground. And then we're gonna lift our top leg up, parallel to the bottom leg, and then flip your foot up, bring it back down, and bring your entire leg back down. Good, keep going here on your own pace. It's always so funny to like watch yourself exercise. It's very weird. And then I realized I look very weird doing a lot of exercises. So at least you guys have your camera off and it's not recorded. You look like a weird little noodle. Let's keep going like this for three more. Last two. And last one. Good, taking a little break. And then extending that leg out, you're gonna rainbow it in front of your body and then back to your foot. Just moving in as much as is comfortable to you and also as high as is comfortable. You don't have to go very high but the higher you go, the more you're going to feel it in the side of your leg. It's super important to keep your core engaged here. Those are your stabilizing muscles. Let's take three more. Last two. And last one. Good. Taking a little break and then extending that leg straight out from your hip if you can. You're just going to bend your knee and extend. Bend and extend. This is the last exercise on this leg. You guys got it. Take five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing that leg down and then pressing yourself up, hugging that working leg into your chest. That's my left leg this time. You can extend your other leg out or keep it bent in towards your body. Moving around, feeling where that stretch is most needed for you. Keep hugging that leg in and then twist towards the left. Good, coming back to center, uncrossing your legs. You're just bringing your knees out in front of you with your feet hips width apart, and you're going to windshield wiper your legs to either side, just releasing your hips here. Good, coming back up to center and coming back into tabletop. We're going to tuck our toes under and press back to downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg up. Step it forward in between your hands, opening up to warrior two. Nice, strong arms and legs here, bending into that front knee, shooting energy out of your fingertips. Good, inhale, reverse your warrior. Straightening your front leg here. And then coming forward to triangle. Reaching as far forward as you can. And then releasing that top hand down to your ankle or the floor or your foot. And extending that other arm straight up towards the sky. Try to imagine you're pressing your hips forward and rolling your shoulders back. That can help make your body more of a straight line here. Taking one more breath in, one more breath out. Good, coming back up to warrior two, reversing your warrior, and then bringing your hands down to the ground, stepping back to plank, holding here for seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Back to down or facing dog. Good. We're going to inhale that left leg up, stepping it forward in between your hands, opening up to warrior two on this side. Make sure that back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, reverse your warrior and straighten your front leg. Coming forward to triangle, reach as far forward as you can. Imagine you touch the front of your room and then lower that left hand down to your left leg. Your right arm extends straight up towards the sky. Even here, still trying to release your shoulders away from your ears. And coming back up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, coming down. Stepping back to plank. We're going to come to side plank on the left side. So your left arm is down, your right arm is up. You're really pressing your hips up towards the sky. Good, and then come back to center and go to the other side. So this time your right hand is down and your left arm is up. Pressing those hips up, really engaging everything here. And then coming back to plank, we're just going to lower our knees down to tabletop. Good, from here, we're just going to come back into that with lying down on your side position. And we're going to work our inner thighs for a second. So that top leg is not need to work anymore. Just step it in front of you. You can even hold onto it so it doesn't have to do anything. We're going to work it a totally separate muscle. So extending that bottom leg out, lift it up towards the ceiling, lower it down to a hover, but don't let it touch the ground, and then keep lowering and lifting like that. Really isolating our inner thigh muscle here. You should also feel this a little bit in your abs. They're holding your body tight, making sure that you're not like rocking around. And stay at the top and pulse that leg higher. And then taking some circles with that leg. So imagine you have a crayon in your toes and you're drawing a circle on the wall. You can kind of look at your foot and make sure that you're doing that full circle. You're not cutting it off anywhere. Switch directions of your circles. Good, let's take a few more pulses at the top and we're done with this leg. Releasing that leg down, taking a little break here, then pressing yourself up and switching to the other side. We're going to stretch our inner thigh out after we do the other side. So stepping that top foot in front of us. Same thing with your arms here. You can be like propped up on your elbow, or you can lie down and relax. Whatever feels better to you. Really point or flex your working leg and then start to lift it up, lower it down to a hover and keep going with that. The reason we want to either point or flex our foot is because we want our leg to be super engaged so that whole muscle is working to lift our leg up. Hold at the top and take some pulses. Then coming into those circles. So look at your foot, making sure you're doing a whole circle. Doesn't matter which direction, we're going to do both. And switching directions here. Good. 
Right, taking a few more pulses. And then releasing that leg down, sitting up, we're going to stretch out our inner thighs. So bring your legs wide, lengthen your spine, sit up nice and tall. If you're feeling a stretch already doing this, then stay here and maybe sit on a block or a book or a pillow or something like that to bring your hips higher than your knees because that will help you sit up nice and tall. If this is feeling easy for you, you can start to fold forward to wherever feels good in your body. Just letting those inner thighs relax. Trying to flex your feet and make sure that your feet are going to the back of the room instead of caving in. That helps protect your knees. And then bringing your right arm inside of your right thigh. Send your left arm up towards the sky. Either stay there or you can bring your left arm over to touch your toe. You can also bring that right arm across your body to get a little deeper into the stretch. Coming back up to center, bring that left arm inside of your left thigh. Extend your right arm up. Stay here or bring that right arm down to meet your toe. Stay here or bring that other arm through across your body. Good, coming back up to center. We're just going to come into a forward fold here. So bringing your feet together, inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, fold forward. And releasing that hold, coming back. We're going to do one more inner thigh stretch. So coming into butterfly, bring your feet as close to your body as is comfortable, and bring your knees out to the sides. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale if you'd like to, you can fold. Coming back up to center, extend your feet a little bit away from you so you have a diamond shape in your legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, hold your head towards your feet. Walking back up to center, bring your knees together. And then come back into a tabletop, tucking your toes under and pressing back to the downward facing dog. But inhale that right leg up, stepping it forward in between your hands, opening up to warrior two. We're going to come into half moon. So stepping that back foot almost to meet your front foot, you're just going to start to tip forward, bringing that right knee down in front of your right foot. Your left hand goes straight up towards the sky. You can stay here or you can start to bind with that top foot. I mean, it's a down half moon. Releasing any binds, coming back up to warrior two. We're going to extend our arm and our leg, looking up towards the sky. Then exhale, come back to warrior two. Good. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Now we're just going to switch to warrior two, facing the other side. So now your left leg is your front leg. You're going to step your back leg in a little bit, and then tip down, coming into half moon. Really 
lifting that top leg up and shooting energy out of that top hand. You can stay here or you can reach around and bind with that top foot, coming into bound half moon again. Holding here for one more inhale. And exhale, coming back to warrior two. We're gonna inhale, arms and legs extended. Exhale, bend back to that warrior two. Three more times, inhale. And exhale. Last two, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten everything one more time. Coming back into warrior two and then bring your hands down. Stepping back to plank and pressing back to downward facing dog. Good, coming down to child's pose with your knees wide and your feet together. Just pausing here for a few breaths. Letting yourself connect to the mat. Any tension you're releasing into the earth. Taking one more breath in here. One more breath out. Then coming forward to swan on your next inhale. Bringing your feet up behind you, stretching out your lower back the anchor belly, and coming back to child's pose. Good. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Good. Inhale one more time, holding here. Really rolling your shoulders back. Good. And then exhale back to child's pose. Coming back up to tabletop. Cross your ankles, come back to a seat. Making sure you have enough room to lie down, one vertebrae at a time, lowering down towards the mat. We're going to do a little core work here and then some final stretches. So, first, we're going to bring our hands behind our head. Our knees are going to be straight up towards the sky and our feet are width apart. You're just going to take some little knee crunches here. You don't have to go up very high, just enough to feel some engagement in your core muscles. Really supporting your head so your neck is not doing any work. And then bring your hands out in front of you and you're going to crunch up, touch your knees, and lower back down. Okay, crunch up and touch your knees and lower. Making sure you have a space in between your chin and your chest so you're not bringing your neck all the way down and hurting your neck. Keep going for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to extend our legs up towards the sky and then bring your hands underneath your tailbone in like a diamond shape. You're going to bring one leg to a hover and then you're just going to switch. So, very slow scissor kicks here. This is helping to work your lower abs. It's also strengthening your hip flexors to lift your leg up. And let's see three more on each side. Last two. Last one. Good. Leave your legs straight up. And we're just going to come into some figure eights here. So you're just going to like draw figure eights with your legs. You don't have to go down to the ground too far, but the lower you go down, 
the more you're going to feel it. This helps work all of your abs. So your front abs are called your rectus abdominis, and then your side abs are your obliques. Let's take one more. Good, and then bending your knees, but keeping your legs up in the sky. Lift your arms just straight up from your shoulders, and then extend opposite arm, opposite leg out to a hover. Good, and then coming back in, and extending the other arm and leg. Good, coming up, and then switching sides. Really making sure that you're pulling your lower abs down so your back is staying connected to the ground. And now pushing your hands into your legs. Imagine you're trying to like bring your knees toward you and push your arms away, but you're not letting yourself do either. So you have lots of tension keeping your legs exactly where they are. And then you're going to extend the same arm and the same leg and keep pushing the other side. And then come back to center. Switch which side you're pushing, which side you're extending. Then come back up. Keep going like that. Pushing your hand into your leg just adds that little bit of extra to your exercise. This is the last out of exercise. So you guys got it. And we're just going to take one more on each side. And then you can extend your arms and your legs if you want. Stretching out your core, getting a full body stretch. And then hugging that right knee into your chest, rocking it side to side. Grabbing onto your big toe with your peace fingers. And then extending your leg as much as you can, even if it's just here. Just working on keeping that connection to your big toe will help you get the stretch over time. Good. and then bending that knee towards you to half happy baby. You can keep holding on to your toe or you can hold on to the outside edge of your foot. And releasing that foot, bringing that knee across your body for a twist. Looking over your right fingertips here, releasing your lower back. Good, releasing that, coming back to center, hugging that left leg in and rocking your leg from side to side. Grabbing onto your big toe and extending that leg as much as comfortable in your body right now. Really trying to keep that right leg extended and engaged, not letting it lift up. And then bending that knee, coming into half happy baby, you can grab onto the outside edge of your foot. And then releasing that foot, bringing your knee across your body for a twist. Looking over your left arm this time, you're going to press down on your leg with your right hand. Coming 
back up to center. Just extend your legs up, over, like towards the sky. And then if you'd like to, you can come into flat, extending your legs over your head, bringing your toes down to the ground. And then you can reach back and grab onto your feet. If that feels like too much, just stay with your legs straight up towards the sky, flexing your feet so it's like you're walking on the ceiling here. If you're in flat, you can also support your back with your hands. Trying to make sure the weight is in your shoulders, not in the neck. And then no matter where you are, slowly lowering your legs down to the ground. Bringing your hands underneath your tailbone in that diamond shape. And then we're going to come up onto our elbows and then look back behind you, pressing your chest up through your arms. Releasing back down to the mat. Coming into happy baby. So grabbing onto the outside edges of both your feet this time. Bring your knees out to the side. You can rock side to side here. Massaging your lower back. And then bringing your feet down to the mat. Bring your feet together and your knees wide. One hand to your belly, one hand to your chest. Just noticing your breath here. Trying to push your hand that's on your belly up towards the sky with your inhales. And let it fall back down towards the floor on your exhales. You can stay here, or you can start to extend your arms and your legs out on your mat. We're going to do that same breathing exercise we did at the beginning of class. So first, exhale all your air out. And then inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Good. You can keep going with that breath. Or you can just breathe normally, whichever feels better to you right now. Letting your entire body relax. Knowing that all your hard work is done. All you have to do is relax in Shavasana. Slowly start to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers and your toes, stretching your arms over your head for one final full body stretch. Hugging your knees into your chest, giving yourself a big hug. You can 
rock side to side here. Thanking yourself for making this time for your mind and your body today. Rolling over onto your right side. And then pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat with your hands in heart center and your eyes closed. Thank you so much for coming and practicing with me today. The light in my heart honors and cherishes the light inside of each and every one of yours. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for coming to Yoga Wadis. I hope you liked it. I am going to stop the recording. So if you guys want to stay, I would love to talk to you.